Our gardener is with me. Niall, has there been a complete change in the public's opinion of Kate? Uh, thanks for having me on the show, uh, Stuart. And uh, I think that uh, the Princess of Wales uh, has always been uh, an immensely popular figure with the British public. So the British people are rallying around her now. Uh, of course, you have uh, a lot of internet trolls out there, uh, some of whom, uh, frankly, are, uh, I think, manipulated by um, Russia, China, Iran, according to uh, British uh, sources uh, last night. Uh, and I think you have a nefarious uh, campaign against the royal family, uh, which is which is driven by various quarters uh, on, on the internet. But overall, of course, the vast majority of the British people are 100% supportive of uh, the Princess of Wales. Uh, they're wishing her a full recovery. They're also, of course, uh, supportive of the British monarchy as a whole. So this, this anti-monarchy uh, campaign, this nefarious campaign, certainly isn't going to succeed in, in any way. And I think the British people and much of the world are rallying around the very brave and courageous uh, Princess of Wales. A friend, that's a friend of Prince Harry and Meghan, is accusing the palace of lying to the public about Princess Kate, even after her cancer announcement. He insisted the recent photos and videos of her were fake. This is a friend of the prince, of Prince Harry. Niall, this is outrageous. It is. It's absolutely outrageous. It's appalling. Uh, and uh, I think you've, you've seen a number of self-styled members of the, the Sussex squad, supporters of Harry and Meghan, who have advanced uh, outrageous and crazy uh, conspiracy uh, theories. And it's a really sad state of affairs yeah. uh, when you have some people out there, uh, some of whom are holding uh, you know, senior positions and companies, for example, who are spreading these kinds of malicious uh, rumors uh, it's an absolute uh, a disgrace uh, and I think also a very poor reflection uh, on uh, on supporters of Harry and Meghan when you have these kinds of lunatic theories being put forward by uh, a friend of, of Harry and sure. Meghan. So uh, it's crazy stuff, absolutely insane, frankly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Stuart, beneath, ho hopefully we'll see the end of this. Beneath contempt, Nile, in my opinion. One last one for you. A absolutely. Peter Phillips, the son of Princess Anne, says King Charles is hugely frustrated by how long it's taking him to recover from his cancer. He wants to get back to normality. Do we have any more details about the King's diagnosis or recovery time? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so reports from London over the weekend indicate that uh, King Charles is planning to return to public duties, hopefully in the summer. Uh, so, so clearly he wants to, to get back to, uh, to leading, leading the country uh, front and centre as soon as he possibly uh, can. Uh, and th that's very encouraging to hear that the king may be returning to public duties uh, in, in the summer. But in the meantime, of course, you know, Prince William, I think, has been absolutely outstanding uh, standing in for his father. Uh, and I think yeah. the, the future of the monarchy is in very safe hands. Next time you're on, Niall, we'll talk about the wonderful Margaret Thatcher. I promise you. See you later. Nargana. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much.